What's up ladies and gents and welcome to a brand new episode of our top 5 plays here on Potato Monster. Between this video and the next top 5 we'll be running back to back HyperX giveaways of their cloud headsets so be sure to not miss out on your chance to take one home. Starting things off at our number 5 play we have the real captain on Draven showing up big at a fight that breaks out in the bot lane. As Draven pushes the wave in Blitz looks to go for a hook but then the lantern goes out for the enemy Wukong as they get flayed and this should be a disaster. Draven quickly uses stand aside to deny entry to the fight while killing Thresh as they back up to keep away from Wukong and wait for cooldowns. With their spells coming back up soon, they start to move back in and then Draven lands the auto and ult, but it's not quite enough so he flashes to curve it on the way back for the double. The monkey goes ham, but Draven uses summoner heal, putting him out of auto attack range and with no cooldowns up, Wukong decides to fall back, resulting in the 2 for 0. In our next play featuring Gfunk512 on Janna, we move into the late game as blue team have their backs against the wall and are looking at a near 10,000 gold deficit. The enemy team are working on a second in hip, so at this point they really need to take action as Janna starts to move in. She's a mile ahead of her team, but she goes in with a flash monsoon to split the enemy team into three areas. Pantheon is delivered right to blue team as they quickly finish him off. Both tanks are separated from their carries and with blue team looking to press in, Kassadin can escape but Jinx will have to run all the way around through the jungle to regroup. Pantheon gets annihilated and Kassadin decides to try and go for Janna on the way out but she remains elusive as her team pushes in to come to the rescue. A great condemn from Vayne stuns Udyr and at this point red team is in full retreat back to their base to defend. Udyr goes down for their third kill as Kassadin gains quite a bit of distance but with all the momentum on their side, they continue down mid lane getting the kill on Jinx followed by the tower and in Hib. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have Dak cut with an epic play on Zyra while trying to defend. The enemy team have killed off a bunch of her teammates and now they're zerging down the tower but she lands a massive vault in Roots 3 in place but it's not enough to fend them off. As it gets lower, she sticks around while the friendly Scion joins and then she gets silenced into a rune prison forcing her to Zhonya's. Rise waits patiently but a quick E flash gets her out as Scion gets pulled to Blitz and she takes off. The blue man continues to follow her and gets locked up by another grasping Roots but he's persistent and continues chasing while Scion manages a kill on Akali. Thanks to some Maras rise does a 180 and tries to escape but the plant slowly chips away at his health and keeps him slow enough for her to close the gap and get into range for an E to finish the job. Confident she turns into the hook because she has exhaust which really nullifies his burst and allows for the double. The bug tries to snipe her but gets denied by the plant meaning no kill and more importantly no reset resulting in yet another kill. The rocket flies in between everyone as she dodges another bullet and recalls back to base as one rich support. Landing in at second place we have Sanctuziak GG on Oriana with an incredible play after things get off to a terrible start. Right off the bat we see the enemy Vi ult Oriana as the rest of blue team follow her up but a great Zhonya's negates a lot. As she gets out Rupture goes off into a bubble but she manages to move her ball and then she ults as Lee and kicks redirecting Cho'Gath into all three for massive collateral damage. Despite being behind in gold and cut out in the beginning red team managed to crush this 4v4 without even losing a single player. Let's check that out one more time but there's two key things to pay attention to. The first one is that in between the CC she buffer input cancels her Q to allow her to move the ball even though she's bubbled. The second thing is that Lee Sin's ult on Cho'Gath ends up colliding with the other three players thanks to the shockwave changing the path he was kicked on. And for our number 1 pro play for this week we have Jaleel on Zed in a low diamond elo match. This game is neck and neck and things have boiled down to this crucial moment with Zed going for the back door to end it all. His team is fighting their hearts out to buy him any time as we go back to see Morg stop Vi's Oriana flashes in but can't quite get the kill on Draven. Corky sees an opening to Valken and finishes the job as he looks to get Nar but a great binding stops him in his tracks. Sona comes rushing in and gets on Zed but she doesn't have enough damage so he spares her no attention and keeps on working the nexus. Vi returns to base and starts charging her Q but a great ult dodges it into a flash as he W's and then swaps, dodging Orianna's QW with a final swap as he brings this game to an end ex peque style. And for the bonus clip of the week we have Freshman with a great flash juke to trick the enemy team and allow him to escape. After I played this once through I'm going to show it to you guys from blue team's point of view so you can see them get styled on. Like I said at the start of this video between this episode and week 206 we're going to be running back to back HyperX cloud headset giveaways so be sure to get in on both. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is to head over to the raffle copter link which is provided just down below in the description box. The whole entering process the first time around takes about a minute and then every other time after that will only take about 
15 seconds, so it's definitely worth checking out. As a longtime gamer, I've owned and gone through over a dozen headsets, and the Cloud headset feels and runs just like the first day I got it. I have nothing but good things to say about it, and unlike most other brands, it's super affordable, and it's nearly 50% off right now on Amazon, so I'll throw a link to that in the description box as well. With all the holidays right around the corner, now's a great time to maybe get one for that friend whose mystery gifted you all the skins you own. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see your lovely faces back here for week 206 later on this week. It's like a jungle out there. There's a virus outbreak. Many people were infected. What are you talking about? You are patient zero. And we have to carry you back to HyperX Labs right now. <laughs> we're just fighting! HyperX! We may not be fighting side by side anymore, but we're still a team. GG.